Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving q and uh, I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor and now I'm a HSE media diver, I suppose is my technical title. Um, yeah, if you do have a question, pop it down in the comment section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. Uh, today I'm answering a question from GMAC about regulator service schedules. So GMAX says, is there a best practice time frame to work with in order to have your dive gear, i.e. first and second stage hoses, connectors and tanks technician checked and serviced to ensure dive safety over X, number of dives or a given time frame regardless of the number of dives. So servicing your regulators is a lot like servicing your car. Scuba diving regulators all have servicing schedules and you'll find it in the user manual uh, if you have the courage to read through it all. Most scuba diving regulators will have a service schedules of one year or 100 dives whichever comes first with normal use. Some brands will extend that to two years, uh, some even three years like Scuba Pro and Atomic, which can greatly reduce service costs over the lifetime of a regulator, um, but that's with regular use. So you're diving it once a month, let's say, um, or it, it starts to get kind of vague when we get to this. Um, if they're working regulators, so you're using them very frequently, say once a, well, definitely once a day, maybe once a week. Again, it's very vague. There's no definitive, boom, you use your regulators this frequently, then it becomes a working regulator. Um, I suppose technically if you're like an instructor and you're teaching, then it comes into working regulators. If they're school regulators as well, they have special um, service schedules. It's once every six months. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot like a car. Um, if, you, uh, if you own a set of regulators and you dive them, a normal amount, um, that's why it's tricky. Um, if you hit 100 dives, then yeah, get them serviced. Or if you get to 12 calendar months and they haven't been serviced, then yeah, get them serviced. Um, others, I mean, the, the longest that I'm aware of right now is something like an Atomic T3 regulator. Uh, they've got a few clever little systems in there and they have a three year service um, uh, schedule. And I think it's three years or 300 dives. Um, they're so... Um, uh, confident with it so um, yeah in the long run it might be a bit more expensive to buy the regulators but in the long run the running costs are a lot lower um, if you yeah if you use your regulators a heck of a lot then you're getting more wear on the uh, the dynamic o-ring so they need to be swapped out sooner um, if they're working regulators it's every six months uh, if they're um, in storage for um, longer than six months then you should get them serviced because regulators need to be used a bit if you use them a lot then you get the wear and tear if you don't use them at all then they degrade from either ozone or just um, uh, like drying out basically they start to go brittle they can fray as well uh, I used to have yeah I keep an o-ring here that's just fraying a little bit if you can see that they uh, they get all stringy and ropey so then they start to leak um, otherwise think that's about all of the uh, the exceptions um, but yeah if you have a look at through the uh, the manual they used to come in the box I think now you tend to um, uh, just get like a QR barcode that you can scan with your phone and you get a digital download uh, it saves the environment because we're not printing off loads of user manuals um, have a look in your regulators uh, regulator user manual there will definitely be a um, uh, section in there with a service schedule and yeah it will probably say one year or 100 dives whichever comes first with normal use uh, if you use them a lot if you're a working diver then once every six months or um, whenever you start to see any kind of wear and tear um, 
the Kirby Morgan regulators come with a, um, in the user manual, they say that you should check like mouthpieces before and after every single dive. You check the hoses before every dive. Uh, you check this like once every six months, you check this once every 12 months, you service it uh, every such and such. Um, so they, they really do break it down. Kirby Morgan, uh, most like recreational brands, it's a bit more just one year, 100 dives. Uh, if you leave it in storage for more than six months, get it serviced. If you use it a lot, service it every six months. Uh, if you find any kind of um, like change in performance, just get it serviced. If in doubt, get it serviced. Um, but yeah, the standard is one year or 100 dives. You also get um, on some regulator brands nowadays, they, um, th they see that Getting your regulators serviced once every single year can be a little bit much. So they introduced a um, like inspection service, which is almost like cylinders where you get hydrostatic tests and then visual tests uh, in the middle. Um, it's a matter of you get the regulator and then at year one, I think it is, you take it in for an inspection so the regulator technician, they may not necessarily pull it apart completely and replace all of the bits. They basically test the function, see if it's working all right, look for unusual wear and tear. Uh, if there are any parts that are unusually worn or do need replacing, they'll replace them then and there. Um, but it's not a full service, so it's a little bit cheaper. And then at the next year, at year two, when you've had that inspection then you do have a full service uh, it depends on the brand and it probably depends on the territory as well because um, like here in the uk we have different requirements to uh, like in, in the states and in, in different countries um, but yeah the general rule of thumb with 90 percent of regulators out there is one year 100 dives whichever comes first um, unless otherwise stated in the um, in the regulator manual but if you have a look in the regulator manual that you can download that they, they usually keep copies uh, of them online then yeah it'll have a, a little section in there that goes over how frequently you should get your regulators serviced and yeah a good 90% of the time it's going to be one year or 100 dives any other questions, uh, by all means, pop them down underneath this video. Use the Ask Mark hashtag uh, in your comment, either at the beginning or the end, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's in there, um, yeah, just pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Then head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out all our other social media channels, all the news articles and the other magazines that we produce at Scuba Diver Mag. And subscribe here on the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.